And now let's uh, briefly look at a couple of case studies. So last year we collected about 80 million tweets uh, about the World Cup, and we did some analysis on top using our tech and uh, looking for patterns, trends, correlations, and so on. And we we, we observed some interesting stuff. So so for instance, in this chart you see the volume of tweets in German over time. Um, and as you can see, as Germany gained uh, more and more momentum in the COP, uh, German-speaking uh, people started engaging more and more with Twitter and with one another and so on. And then we also measured the average sentiment towards uh, teams and players, and we looked for correlations between the rise and fall of sentiment and the events in these matches. And again, found some interesting patterns. For, so for instance, in the Brazil versus Netherlands match, uh, that's what we're seeing here. Um, the sentiment, average sentiment towards Netherlands started increasing uh, and towards Brazil it started decreasing uh, because uh, they received three goals from Netherlands. And a more interesting example of sentiment can be seen uh, in tweets mentioning Suarez. So this guy actually, for those of you who don't know, during one of the games he actually bit another player. And this is the average sentiment towards him, uh, people's sentiment towards him throughout the World Cup. And as you can see, he starts uh, very positive. Uh, and then when he bites the other guy, it goes negative. And then he issues an, an apology, goes uh, you know, slightly positive, And then it reaches a peak when he's signed by uh, Barcelona. So, um, so I guess take note, uh, PR people, uh, that's uh, how you issue an apology.